Hi folks, Max from RootGalaxyNote.com for this week's AT&T Note uh, ROM of the Week. Um, do check out Blackstar Black Jelly ROM. This is uh, by uh, XDA developer Big Fowl. Um, he made some great ROMs before. This is his Jelly Bean version of Blackstar ROM. Uh, Blackstar uh, Black Jelly. So let me go ahead and show you some of the cool stuff. Now this ROM was very laggy. Um, it's not because of the developer, but Jelly Bean itself is very laggy. Uh, but you can fix it easily by installing uh, Phase Kernel by PTMR3, which I did, uh, which overclocks your phone automatically to 1.836 gigahertz, and also has custom voltages um, to make your battery still last long. Um, you can also install set CPU app, so you know when you need to even save more battery, you can turn this down. But default is 1.836 gigahertz overclocked out of the box um, if you don't install set CPU. But it is very fast along with face kernel and I kind of like it. Um, and also there is multi-window uh, almost <laughs> on this ROM. Um, big props to Big Foul for trying. Uh, but uh, eventually it should be here. Um, you know, but uh, it's sort of not working right now. Um, which, you know, which isn't a huge deal, you know, eventually it'll be here. Just support for this phone uh, from Samsung has been just horrible. Um, so blame it on Samsung, not the developers. Anyway, very nice ROM. And uh, also, let me give you some of the stuff that you can do, customize with this ROM. Alliance Control. Um, you'll be able to use the ROM customizer to get additional options, install stuff. Uh, and also Lion settings. This is where you can enable cool stuff like uh, screenshot and power menu um, So you can take a screenshot easily And also you can uh, long press back to kill apps that will disable the multi-window um, And also let me go ahead and show you some launcher mods uh, launcher scrollable wallpaper do that and read launch launcher UI mods clock options you can change all of this stuff drop down clock color AMPM style um, move it to the center if you want all that good stuff and Also toggle options you can change the toggles a number of orders at the top there nice nicely themed I like this slightly blue themed everywhere um, Very nice theme and also lock screen mods. This is great. Um, you can change your lock screen all these lock screens awesome uh, Xperia Z lock screen wallpaper ink effects um, Lock screen torch if you hold down the home button in the lock screen and there we go. Boom shakalaka. There we go. And I know some of you are going to be like, oh, your screen is dirty. Yeah, I know it is. There we go. And uh, some cool stuff there. Lock screen torch. Um, finger. Uh, phone mods. You can get auto call recording. Um, call recording just by itself. And uh, awesome stuff. So overall, very nice ROM. Um, you know, if, the, if you install it with face kernel, it runs just fine. Um, you, do, you do need to overclock this phone, especially the AT&T version. Um, just more laggy than the international. I believe that's due to the CPU. Yes, of course it is due to the CPU. Anyway, and also it does come with exposed app settings so you can run your favorite apps in uh, tablet, phone mode, custom DPI mode. I have a full tutorial guide on that. I'll have a link to it on my site if you guys don't know what that is. And also X theme engine. I don't really mess it with it much, but it's there. Uh, so check it out for this week's Ramadou AT&T SGH i717 or you can install on the Rogers i717R Blackstar Black Jelly ROM. Um, don't forget to donate to the developer of, of this ROM if you end up using it as a daily driver to XDA uh, user Big Foul. I'll have donate link on my site at the bottom and also credits to XDA. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. As always, if you have a note, um, Galaxy Note, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galax rootgalaxynote.com. If you have a note too, I have a new site called galaxynote2root.com. I know it's confusing, but I keep, I keep making more sites um, to help you organize, help me organize, uh, because if I had everything on one site, um, you would have to like browse and you get confused and maybe you could install Note 2 ROMs on your uh, original note and brick it or vice versa and all hell will break loose that's why i'm not doing that um especially with phones and and even if i made one site it's like people are bricking phones anyways they don't read you know it says clearly it's for gtn 7000 do not install an i717 or vice versa 
um, still happens, you know, but it's not my fault. Um, I don't take responsibility. Anyway, don't break your phones. Just double check that it's for your phone, the model number. It's always at the title on the top. Um, check that. And also in the down download link, I put the model name so you guys don't break your phones. Uh, anyway, try it out. Pretty solid ROM. If you want to be on the latest Jelly Bean TouchWiz, uh, much faster with a bunch of features, customization, this is the way to go, I think, right now. Uh, very nice, Ram. And I'll see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on N-Drive.